Hi, I'm Brandon Reyes with Trueball Release and Excel Sites, and today I'm gonna to go over the new Fulcrum Flex, the way you adjust the release, and also the way you change it from a click to a no-click sear. The way you adjust the release is, included in the release is a micro-adjust tool. The cool thing about this micro-adjust tool is it stays with your release as you shoot it and as you need it to adjust it. On the side here, I'll point to it, you'll see a micro-adjust lock screw. With the tool, loosen that lock screw to gain movement in your micro adjust tool or on your micro adjust screw in the bottom. I'll point to the micro adjust screw. Insert your tool there and then you can micro adjust your release. On the top here, you'll see the dial move back and forth to make your release hot or cold. Once you get your desired setting, Simply come back to the lock screw, insert your micro adjust tool, and lock it down to ensure your setting doesn't move. The nice thing is you can put that back into your handle and it's with you for the next time of use. Now the important part of adjusting uh, your release to it from a click to a, a no click sear is I've got a no click sear here that comes with the release in the package. Installed is the click sear. It's easily distinguishable uh, distinguishable to tell the two apart because the click sear has dots on it and the no click sear does not have any dots on it to reference that is the click or the size of the click. We have multiple different sizes of clicks for the Fulcrum Flex. A one dot is a fast click, the two dot and the standard click uh, is the standard click that comes installed in the release already and then we have a slower click that has three dots installed on the top of it. And you'll be able to tell, and show, we'll show you these on a, uh, a separate picture, the differences between all the three. So the first step in taking your release apart to install the no click, because my click is already installed, is we're gonna take this uh, socket head screw out and disconnect the two pieces of the head. This is a two piece head system, so both of the pieces come apart once I remove this screw. So there's the screw, and now I'm going to take the two halves apart, exposing the dowel pin and the click. So now I've got the dowel pin and the clicks here exposed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the dowel out, and that will allow my click moon to come out as well. On these releases, you'll know the bottom, um, I'm sorry, on these sears, you'll notice that the bottom here has a little fang type piece. Inside of the release is a spring and a set screw. Where the spring and set screw inter intersect is where that little fang piece needs to be inserted. So when I insert it back in there, make sure the fang is in between the two apply a little bit of pressure downward, reinsert your dowel to where it's exposed about half, half on each side to where you, know, you have the same amount of dowel on both sides of the head. And now we're gonna reinsert our head pieces and our set screw. There the pieces are together and now my screw that locks the two pieces together. And now we've made our fulcrum flex a no click. So it's just a smooth ride until the release fires. So that's how you change it from a click to a no click. Now I'm gonna demonstrate what it sounds like by actually shooting the bow with a no click and then also I'll reinsert the click back in and show you what it uh, you know, sounds like to to make a shot with the click. Now I'm gonna demonstrate the Fulcrum Flex with a click. I will also convert it back to a no click and demonstrate it without a click. And now I'm gonna demonstrate a no click on the Fulcrum Flex.
Thanks for watching this instructional video on the Fulcrum Flex. For more information, you can visit our website at www.trueball.com.